everybody. Mm -hmm. Shane here from Guitar Work. Thanks for coming back, and thanks very much for uh, for subscribing. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch the numbers go up. I've never done this before, so it's kind of neat to watch that go up. And thank you for all your comments. Today we have got uh, Bob Seger's "You'll Accompany Me," classic old tune with a really cool main riff. I think you'll like this one. Um, there's a couple of chords in here. I think there's maybe only one chord that might maybe new to some of us, but the rest of them are pretty meat and potatoes in terms of chords. Neat little strum to talk about, and some right hand techniques that are going to serve you well in many songs to come. Um, so if we just get our chords going on first of all, there's an A chord and you, uh, you have sheets in front of you hopefully. If you don't have the sheets, I'm happy to send them to you. Uh, just go to my website shanesimpson.com. I haven't found a way to make them downloadable, so just email me from the contact button. I'll fire them off right away. I'm not looking to uh, collect your email address or anything. Just for now, it's the only way I know how to do it. So we're looking at an A chord. Boom. No problem there. There's an A chord. And it's going to head to an E. I'm guessing there's no problem there for anybody. A to E. Again, A, E. This next guy, F sharp minor slash E. I know that's a mouthful. Uh, F sharp minor slash E. Here's how to get there. I'm going to take my E chord and I'm going to drag him up one, two frets. Drag your E up two frets. And I'm going to back off the first finger. Back him off one fret to your left. So he's now on the second fret. So that's an F sharp minor slash E. Unusual sound, but let me go back to E and it kind of closes it off here. That. And let me do that again. Here's an A. Here's an E. I'm going to drag that E chord up two frets, one, two, and then back off the first finger so he's on the second fret. There we go. And now when you get to know it, you know, you don't have to do that initial step of, you know, dragging it up and then backing it off. You're just going to drag it up and hopefully it separates on the way up, just like that. Now, if you have trouble with that stretch, there's nothing wrong with your hand. I've seen many a hand try that chord and uh, we can all do it if you use your technique properly. So if your thumb is up like that, you're probably doomed. Okay, so on the E chord, there's a real tendency to want to put the E chord up because you can, or the thumb over because you can. Right? It's comfortable, whatever. And But on this uh, F sharp minor slashy, even with the length of my fingers, I find that different to do. So I'm on the E chord, I'm going to duck my thumb down. Get your wrist down, nice and low like that. And then I'm going to drag up to that F sharp minor slash E. And there we go. And that should help quite a bit. It's all in getting that wrist underneath. Yeah. Uh, sometimes if you're really struggling with the stretch, uh, standing up is a good idea because you can get the neck way up high and uh, you know you can get your wrist way out there. Um, so that would be this. A. One strum. Here's an E. F sharp minor slash E. You're going to drag that up. Boink. There he is there, and back to an E. Yeah, it's kind of like an open sound on the F sharp minor slash E. Open, closed. There we go. It's a beautiful sound. You wouldn't stay on a chord like that, F sharp minor slash E. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit too floaty, maybe. And then back to E. Yeah. So again, A, E, F sharp minor slash E, and back to E. There we go. Wonderful. Now, if we get to the right hand portion, now you may have to shut the tape down or the video down right there and uh, get to know those chords. If there's any hesitation getting to those chords, especially that nasty one, the new one, uh, you find your right hand just kind of short circuits. Uh, but for those of you that are ready to look at the right hand, let's do that right now. Um, so often in guitar, the right hand is just chugging away, just doing that. And then this song is exactly that. So I'm going to go A, E. And this guy is just doing that. Now, A and E are bracketed together like that. That means two beats a piece, or half a bar a piece. Uh, with a special distinction here, the second chord in the bracket, E, the E in this case, is a little bit early. That's called push. You push that. Anticipation is the real word, but push is what we usually call it. So we're going A, E. It comes in a little earlier than you might think. So A, E. If you were tapping your foot to that, uh, that E would come in when your foot is up, not down. So here's A on the down. Uh, E's on the upstroke, okay? And then A, E, and then we gotta kill the time. We have to kill the time in there just by doing little scrubs or chickas, I'll call them. Uh, your chickas have to be really, really quiet. So we accent where the chord changes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, and then so those little strums, those little whisper strums, I'll call them chickas, they just fill things up a little bit. So your right hand is always doing this down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 16th notes, we call that. Uh, here's a good way to, to practice that and a nice way to count it. It sounds silly, but I'm going to go walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken. So I'm just choking my strings here like that. Choking the strings so they don't make any noise. And let's deal with the right hand. We're going walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken. Also works uh, in Canada. We do everything in both official languages. So we could say marche la poule, marche la poule, whatever works for you, okay? <laughs> so here's, I'll, uh, it's just choking the strings again with an accent where the chord changes. Ah, ah. Two, three, four, bop, bop. Two, three, four, bop, bop. Two, three, four, bop, bop. 
two, three. Now on those whisper strums or those chickas, you just, just, I always say just aim for maybe two or three strings and that tends to take a lot of the dynamic out of it right there. It's not just uh, hitting less hard, it's uh, maybe uh, only using a couple or three strings in there, right? Uh, so here if I go A to E. Chicka, chicka, chicka. A, E, chicka, chicka, chicka. A, A, chicka, chicka, chicka. A, A. Chicka, chicka. Now it's the same treatment. The F sharp minor slash E to the E is exactly the same. I'm gonna get on and load up on him. F sharp minor slash E and two, three, four. Okay, so our four chords back to back here. Uh, remember the second chord in each bracketed bit is pushed. It comes in a little early. Here's A to E. F sharp minor to E. Good. Uh, it's F sharp minor slash E, but I'll just call it F sharp minor because of the time I blurt out the other part, it's all time to get off that chord. Here it is very slowly, I'll count you in each time. Okay, here's A, three, four, A, E, chick, F sharp minor to, to E. Two, there we go, I'll count you in again. Here's A coming, three, four, and A, E, F sharp minor slash E coming. Ah. Right hand is never stopped. Down, up, down, up he goes. Let's get you another close up of that. Here's an A, three, four. E, two, F sharp. Keep that thumb low. A, E, good, F sharp minor slash E. Good, A coming in again. Two, F sharp minor slash E. Two, A again. F sharp minor slash E, pow. Good, now up the tempo, I think it's about here. Yeah, it feels good to play that, it's funky and it's got a nice strum to it for sure. Um, the chorus, the only other part you're going to need, the chorus in there, someday lady you'll accompany me, I'm looking at here A. Now A is, is all alone, so we're gonna go 16th notes, uh, four sets of chickens, if that makes sense. We'll walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken. Straight strumming like that. That's four beats on an A, and there's four attacks per beat. Keep that in mind. Uh, one, two, three, four. Now D and A are bracketed, same treatment as the main riffs. So you get D, A, and the A comes in a little bit early. Every second chord is, in bracketed situations, is pushed in this song. So here's an A again, top of the chorus. Three, four, A, Two, three, D to A coming, right here. There we go, second line, A again. Two, F sharp minor, slash E. There we go. So the first two lines of that chorus, one more time, slowly count it in. Three, four, A, one, two, three, D to A, right here. Two, A, stay there, one, two, F sharp minor, slash E, go. Next line, A again, one, two, three, D to A. A there, good. Now main riff, A, E, F sharp minor. Good, A, E, F sharp minor, slash E. Back to you. Good. Again, it's quicker than that, but you got to walk before you run. If you're struggling with those left hand chords at all, remember it'll interfere with this guy. So shut the tape off and just do the mindless repetition, especially on that tough E. Sure. Chicka, chicka, bam. Yeah, it's great when you don't have to think about it anymore. You'll get to that point if you just do the mindless repetition uh, enough of that, you know. Um, so thank you again for coming back. That was uh, Bob Singer. You'll accompany me. Thank you again for subscribing. Hopefully there's a little logo over my head sometime right now or maybe in a couple of seconds from now. It's a little coffee mug. You can you can click on that and you'll subscribe. It'll tell you what what, what videos are coming and when they've come out. I'm trying to be as regular as I can, but it's uh, time as time allows kind of thing. So, uh, and keep the comments coming. You can get me at shanesimpson.com, a contact button. I can send you sheets and whatever you might like. Thank you again for coming back. We'll see you again for the next one. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye.